Hi, welcome to Chemistry with Mrs. Mays. Today we're talking about measurement, specifically accuracy and precision. There are always some level of uncertainty in measurement, but accuracy describes the closeness of a measurement to the true value of what is being measured. We want all of our measurements to be as accurate as possible. Another measure of uncertainty is called precision. Precision is a measure of how close a series of measurements are to each other. This would be like if everyone in our class took a measurement of the density of a piece of oak wood, then we would want every student's measurement to be the same because there is a true value, so all of our measurements should be close to that. If they're all far apart, we know we've got a problem. So let's review the difference between accurate and precise. So the first picture, the pink one, shows neither accurate nor precise measurements where they're just kind of all over the place here. In the green picture, you can see on average, these measurements, like the top and bottom, would kind of cancel each other out, and then the left and right would kind of cancel each other out. So on average, we're getting the right answer. However, we're not getting the right answer reliably, so this is not precise. Our measurements are not all the same. Now this other picture in the orange, this is kind of how I shoot at targets. I need practice. All my shots go up and to the left, and so if I aim down and right, I can usually hit the bullseye. This is what we do in class. If you get all your measurements in the wrong spot, but they're all close together, then we're going to calibrate. We're going to make an adjustment in our instrument and, and get the right answer. Instead of just leaving your measurements all a mess, we go back and fix it. What we want from all of our measurements is to be both accurate and precise, to get the right answer, the true value, every single time. That's what we're going for. All right, see you in class.